it's Missy. We're here with Prep Star Stats. We're here with Coach McDonald. Y'all were 13 and 1 last year. Coach McDonald, you build a very successful program here at Noonan, one of the best in the state. You've had an identical back to back 13 to 1 seasons and made it to the semifinals last year. I know you lost a lot of your seniors off last year's team. How does this team compare? And what were your expectations coming into the season? Well, uh, you know, we did graduate some, some really good football players. Uh, this year's team's a little bit different in the fact that uh, we're probably not as explosive offensively. Uh, we don't really have the, the big play guy that we had uh, at, at receiver. But now we we got a veteran offensive line, uh, a really good quarterback, and a really good running back. So, you know, we kind of built it around that, probably running the ball maybe a little bit more than we have in the past. Uh, defensively, we really had to start over, really just three guys back uh, on defense. So, uh, you know, we really had to rebuild there and, and replace some really, really good players. So, uh, but, but we played well against LaGrange on that side of the ball, and, uh, uh, you know, hopefully those guys will get experience. And expectation-wise, you know, we, we just wanted to uh, – Come in there and have a say so uh, in Region Two for the playoffs. You know we uh, we would like to, to to challenge for that region championship again. Uh, it's it's the region's a lot tougher this year. We went from Region Four to Region Two, and uh, uh, some very good teams in there: Stevenson, East Coweta, uh, West Lake, you know Newton County. So I think the region got a lot tougher. So, uh, but you know we want to have a say in that uh, at, the, at the end of the year. Your team is 1-0 and and ranked number three in the state. It's early in the season, but how do you see your team maturing and progressing at this point? Well, we've gotten better, um, you know, since we started. We've had a real good week of practice this week. Uh, you know, again, it's just getting that experience of going out and playing, especially on the defensive side of the ball where we, uh, you know, had to replace pretty much all defense. So, uh, you know, you can only get better by going out and playing. So. Uh, you know, hopefully the, the experience is not a non-region schedule. Uh, the experience of that is going to really help us uh, when we hit the region in a couple of weeks. Like you said before, you had to replace a lot of very good players from the last year's team. Any particular new guys that have stepped up and been a pleasant, unexpected surprise? Well, unexpected, I, I don't know about unexpected. Um, you know, a couple of guys on defense, uh, middle linebacker Nick Cameron. Uh, rotates in there some. Nick's a junior, and he, he ro rolls in there with a sophomore named Maurice White. Uh, those two guys have, have probably played a little bit better than we thought they might. Uh, in the secondary, uh, Trey Matthews has the has another sophomore. He, he has the end of his job of uh, taking over for Alec Ogletree, who's at Georgia now. So uh, some big shoes for, for him to fill, but he's done a good job. So, uh, you know, I think those three guys have really kind of been unexpected. A lot of the other guys we've had in the program, they just had to wait their turn, and uh, you know we we've known a little bit about them for a while now. So you're facing the number four ranked team from Peachtree Ridge this week, which is a team like your own with a lot of tradition and experience. What impresses you the most about Peachtree Ridge's program? Well, they you know their size. The <laughs> first off, they're they're big physically, uh, good looking kids, and uh, you know they play really hard. You know, I guess that's what jumps out at you. They're a well-coached football team, and uh, uh, you know they're they're just they're they're the real deal. They're the complete package all the way across the board. So uh, you know we're gonna have to play really really well to to, to give ourselves a chance to win. But they've uh, you know, they've only been there seven years. Already won a state championship, and played for another one, and been to the quarterfinals and the semifinals. You know I think four out of seven years. So. Uh, you know, evidently they've got a lot of talent up there, and uh, the coaching staff, Coach Ballard and his his coaches do a great job uh, coaching those guys up. So it's going to be a real challenge uh, for us to to uh, compete with them. You're gonna have to play with a lot of heart. Yes, a lot of heart. Is there any particular keys to the game that you have to focus on? Well, I, I mean, I think it's like any game. You know, we're going to have to not turn the ball over. You know, make sure we take care of the football, and we're going to have to tackle well on defense. They've uh, they've got a, they've got three or four running backs that are really good, and uh, you know run hard. So we're going to have to make sure we're good good tacklers tomorrow night, and again just not beat ourselves. Uh, we're going to have to keep the ball on offense a little bit, and that's easier said than done mm -hmm. against them. So generally, early games like this against a very high-ranking team can benefit win or lose. 
from an experience standpoint later in the season. And when you get to the playoffs, Camden County lost two games early last season but came back to win the state. Any thoughts on games like this? with two strong teams early and what you can benefit from them? Well, I mean, that's one reason I think we scheduled the game. Um, you know, it kind of lets you know where you're at and, uh, and there's going to be no illusions after the game, whether good or bad. Um, you know, and hopefully it, it – I hope we use it as, as a building block and then, you know, we're going to have a tough region and, and hopefully if we make the playoffs, we can look back on it and, uh, uh, you know, this game can kind of – uh, we, we can look back on it and, you know, we're going to be battle tested and ready because we played a pr pretty tough uh, non-region schedule and, and Peace Tree Ridge is included in that. So, uh, you know, hopefully it's, it gets us ready for our region and, and hopefully if we're lucky enough to make the playoffs and, uh, you know, I think it can be beneficial for us playing a good, 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 you know, playoff quality football team here early. Start you off strong. Yes. Well, thanks for talking with us and good luck with your game. Thank you.